successful. The police are doing what they can, unfortunately with a certain amount of political interference. That's something you may want to look into. The big issue in, in Venice is certainly the, the uh, clash right, between the uh, relative newcomers and, and, and uh, those that can afford to be and demand to be safe and those that uh, want uh, to care for those that are unfortunate, have unfortunate circumstances. Uh, but again, like I said, it's not that, that clean. Um, the other big issue I think you should follow up on is, as a news organization, is the whole land use issues. There are a whole host of them in Venice. And I think that it's a lot more complex than you realize. There's a rental versus uh, rent control issue. There's the beach access issue, the size of home and fences. All these have an impact on how we relate to one another and, and how safe we feel or don't, don't, don't feel safe. So those are some ideas we may want to follow up on. Thank you. I'm a Venetian, I've been here a long time, and I, most of the issues that I wanted to address have been uh, spoken upon, except for the housing. And I deal with an organization called Power, I also deal with the Venice High School Parent Center, I have kids for like children and elderly people in the community, and any of those that can help themselves. My greatest concern is the housing of Dale Street Apartments, and we have a man that owns these apartments, and he's been HUD money for these apartments and he's not using it right. The tenants are trying to purchase and buy these apartments and he's making it very difficult because he doesn't have to. It's similar to the place apartment situation, but he's got like 28 million or $258 million worth of HUD money supposedly to help the low income and he's not doing anything. And in the last month, he's taken uh, 10 tenants rent and raised them. And these are low income housing uh, for people on fixed incomes, very low incomes. There's 15 units and it's like 258 people or more in these units. And our concern is we've been trying, we've been trying to negotiate through housing and everything. We need this man, this developer, to uh, help us access and pay for our apartments. We have the money available to purchase the apartments. He's just not working with us. Our councilman has uh, talked with him. and. Uh, you know, we thought that maybe that we'd be able to purchase these apartments because they were built a long time ago so that people in the community could own them, they could keep them away from them, and they got in a little trouble and they went to uh, into the, a federal receivership, and now, you know, we're still trying to keep a hold of them, you know. And there are, Venice is a unique place. It's always been, everybody's come here, everybody knows about this because the so-called poor people here is word of mouth. This is a good place for kids to come and do their thing. I mean, elderly people, they don't have to come far near. I mean, everything is conveniently located for us here. And we've always been open to any and everybody. And it's always been a beautiful, loving, diverse community. And now the big development has come in and we made a lot of promises that they're not keeping. And we need attention, or we need somebody to help us down here in our community to work things out because we're getting sort of covered up and the gentrification is just horrible and the effects that is emotionally uh, affecting our elders and our young children here in the community. Um, I just want to say that also Villaraigosa has closed down the public relations department and over 24, I think about, it's going to affect a lot of people. And we need these, uh, to, uh, these are the same people in District 11 that we voted for that were supposed to support us and help us with some of these issues and work things out, which they did not do. And we're the same people that can get them removed. They don't want to talk to us, they don't want to deal with us, they just assume everybody down here is poor, you know, and we're so dangerous, but you're not too scared to move down here so and, and buy up our property. And now all of a sudden you're here with us and you're scared of us? I don't understand that. And they think more of a dog than a child. They're trying to make us over the situation so they're trying to close that down. And that's one of the only safe green places that we still have left here in Venice, the Oakwood Recreation Center. It's like a tradition here in Venice. It's like a focal point. I mean, everything was based around the park. And that's the only place that our kids have to go hang out and have a good time. And now we want to convert it into a dog park. I mean, we, we, we have a lot of uh, parents that live in a low income housing that can't afford the proper daycare. We have programs in place there with a free park. Now they're charging us $75 a kid for, the, for a free park, it's a recreation center. You know, they got uh, uh, $2,000 for a Halloween party that nobody attended, but the money was supposed to be 
usually help some of the parents that couldn't afford to um, have daycare and get their kids there, you know. And it's always been three parts. Like, you pay so much for your child, and then we provide the hot snacks and lunches and stuff. Our seniors are there. They try to get rid of our seniors, and we fought real hard to keep them there. And the director or whoever's over at Rexham Parks needs to know that we're not going nowhere, and they're not going to turn our park into a dog park. They have a dog park on Westminster, and they have one at the uh, airport. I love dogs, but come on, our kids need this. And if they're there in the park, you don't have to wonder where they are or what they're doing. We, we have baseball going on here. We have basketball tournaments going on here. We have a lot of parents and uncles and aunties that participate. We're trying to do the best we can, but the people here need to know we're loving. We love everybody and just work with us. You know, they just look at us. They don't even speak. I have a condo next to me. You know what I'm saying? I got people walking down the street that I say, hi, how you doing? Nothing, you know? So it's, it's a good place. I mean, everybody can get along. But you have to think about the kids and what it's in fact affecting. It's impacting Venice High School. It's impacting Mark Twain Junior High School. It's impacting West Venice Elementary School. And I think before the governor went out, uh, he was here to even visit at Broadway Elementary School, but since uh, Green Dot is here, uh, since Green Dot schools have moved into the community and they made a lot of promises, and I personally helped them get in place here to introduce them into the community and to come in and help, you know, better our schools. So I thought, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, I'm just sick of it. I don't know what to do. I mean, there's more than poor or rich. It's about people, and it's about caring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ordinance that have been here for hundreds of years as far as building heights, land use planning committee knows I used to sit on land use planning committee, but let you talk for a long time. Thanks. Okay, I'm sorry. But you think about the